Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're going to further unpack the idea of a fair value for Bitcoin using logarithmic regression fit to all data. We did talk about this yesterday, but I only briefly spoke about it. I wanna use this metric to fully understand what's going on to explain more so why we always said 100K would not be achieved in 2021, but that it still could easily happen later this year or in 2023, may basically without having to wait until the next halving. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Also, I would like to thank everyone for subscribing here and, and getting this channel to 700,000 subscribers. It is pretty crazy to think about how, how far this channel has come in, in a relatively short period of time. But thank you so much for, for subscribing. I, I like to use this opportunity to, to just show off the, you know, the, the, the trends and the views and, and kind of seeing where we are. Obviously, a lot more interest has, has come in recently since, since the, the price of Bitcoin has, has become a bit more volatile. Uh, obviously, you guys are, are watching a bit more of this channel when, when Bitcoin has been in a downtrend than you have uh, basically since May. And, and then furthermore, I would also like to say that you can see, uh, because you should always hold me accountable here, that the fair value of my AdSense revenue is still holding resistance at zero dollars and zero cents. Um, or if you want to be optimistic about it, we could say it's holding support at zero dollars and zero cents. So do remind, I, I will remind you that we do not, we do not run AdSense on this channel. We do not have affiliate links. I have no paid promotions here. I understand that not everyone agrees with the type of analysis that I do, but again, it, you know, it, I'm I'm putting all this information out for for free. It's just for fun, and and this YouTube channel you can see is is um, not being monetized. Okay, this is we are not monetizing this this YouTube channel, and um, it, it's basically just to to show Bitcoin from a from a data centric point of view and and leave it at that it does not need to be any more complicated than that okay so with that said i, I want to go back and, and and talk about the you know the, the fair value of of bitcoin and and why you know calling something the fair value could be misinterpreted now in markets when you think about the fair value it's basically just whatever whatever someone's willing to pay for it so for instance, back in April, when Bitcoin was trading for 64K, you could argue that that was the fair value of Bitcoin at the time. So the definition of the fair value is not meaning to replace the definition of what uh, you know, a, a willing investor is okay paying for an asset at the time. It's more so to help people take a step back and recognize that, that Bitcoin goes through phases of undervaluation and overvaluation, and it, it does it repeatedly. And it's easy for us to lose sight of what the fair value is in terms of this logarithmic regression curve. Because when we're above it, everyone just wants to think that we're going to keep on going forever without any consequential pullbacks. Even in the middle of 2013, we had a major pullback to the bottom of the fair value logarithmic regression curve before going on another run. And in, 20, in 2017, when we went to 20K, you can see that I mean, a lot of people back then thought we were just going to keep on going. But Bitcoin has a way of humbling us and reminding us that it will not go up forever. There will be nasty corrections along the way, and you do need to be prepared for it. Now, one of the reasons, if you guys remember, since 2019, I have said, I don't think Bitcoin is going to go to 100K in 2021. It just always seemed highly unlikely. And this is what we said for the entirety of the year, even when Bitcoin was trading for, for 64K, I said that it's very unlikely going to go to 100,000 in, in 2021, which furthermore made it even more ridiculous for, for the $300,000 predictions uh, in 2021. But one of the reasons why you can, you can sort of intuitively see why a $300,000 Bitcoin in 2021 or even a $100,000 Bitcoin in 2021 was unlikely. If you take the extension from the fair value, you'll note that during the first mania phase that we had, the extension from the fair value was approximately 1,000%. In 2013, we had two major extensions from the fair value. The first one going up a more modest 300%, and then the second one 
going up closer to if I, if I if I actually take it from the from the fair value here to the center of the of the line, the center of the regression band, about 700 or 800 percent. Furthermore, if you go to 2017, you can see that the extension from the fair value was approximately 400 percent. Okay, now the the a 400 percent extension from the fair value is a 5x, and you can see the 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 fair value in 2017 was approximately four thousand dollars by the end of the year. And so for us to have a 400% extension from the fair value, that represents a $20,000 Bitcoin, which is what we saw. So far in 2021, we saw at the, at the local top of 64K, all we saw was about 150% extension from the fair value. Okay, about 150%. And one of the reasons I, I said back then that a, that a 100K Bitcoin is unlikely in 2021 is because you would be looking at an extension of approximately 300, over 300%, which isn't that far off from what we already saw back in, in 2017. And if history is any indication, you would expect it to diminish by, by more than, than just a 100% move of, of, or an extra 100%. Now, with that said, one, one of the things that, that people are, are naturally wondering about is, you know, where do I stand on, on Bitcoin going to 100K since we haven't gone there yet? I've, I've said all along, right? My thoughts on, on 100 to 200K Bitcoin have not changed. It, since 2019, I've said, look, the earliest I think Bitcoin will get to 100K is late 2022. It could also be in 2023. But the key thing is that it should happen before the next happen. That's what I think. Again, could it be proven wrong? Could easily be proven wrong, right? I've been wrong about plenty of things. Um, I, I saw the, I, you know, to, to just be clear, I, I'm not just saying that. I mean, I, I saw the this dip coming. I mean, we, we said that this this summer lull is coming. We're going to have a three to six month drop in the market. I saw, I was very, very much thinking we were going to see a September drop because September is usually a really bad month for Bitcoin. So we said that ahead of time. This one, I was not expecting. Okay, I'll, I'll be completely honest. I was not expecting it. Um, it is it is certainly possible for for me to to miss things, and I, I don't want to give the impression that I'm always right because I, I clearly know that I'm not. Okay, I clearly know that I'm not. Um, but with that said, where is the fair value today? Okay, so I want to unpack this. So the fair value right now, according to this fit, is approximately thirty three thousand dollars. Okay, and the longer the, the the more in time that we go the easier it should be for Bitcoin to attain a $100,000 valuation. If we were to just sort of extend this logarithmic regression curve out, let's say until the end of 2023, the fair value by the end of 2023 is going to be over $50,000. So in order for Bitcoin to get to 100K, all it has to do is go 2X the fair value, which doesn't really seem like that tall of an order to do. Um, sometime by late 2022 where the fair value would be closer to $44,000 or or sometime in 2023 where we're talking about a fair value of of over, you know, potentially over $50,000. So with that in mind, let's let's let I'll remind you again why why the why a move to 300k or even a 100k bitcoin last year was always highly unlikely. It's just in order to have seen something like that you would have needed to see an extension from the fair value to get to a 300k Bitcoin last year of about a thousand percent. But my friends, we haven't seen a thousand percent extension from the fair value since since 2011, and we would expect the these these major these major moves here to ultimately diminish in how spectacular they are. Do note, okay, this is something I think a lot of people miss. I'm not saying that Bitcoin has to go below the fair value now. The fair value band ranges now from 27K up to 40K, okay? So the best case scenario is we bounce out of the fair value band somewhere, and then we go we go put in a, a new all-time high. That would be the best case scenario. But as I always say, you need to plan for all scenarios. Look, no one here knows what's going to happen in the short term. No one knows what's going to happen in the long term either, right? No one knows what is going to happen and and i will remind you that that all of the bears that are now calling for you know for a 10k bitcoin they were also calling for it back in you know back in 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 may and then they were all proven wrong and of course again if you if you remain perma bear then eventually you will be right and there's i mean of course you're going to you're, you're going to take the cloud for that but think about think about the fact that 
you know, you can scream it's going to go to 10K forever and then you're going to you're going to cash in that credit the minute the minute it drops. So bears will have their day in the sun. They always do. And and I, as I say, I am sometimes bearish on Bitcoin myself. Back in April, I was bearish, right? I was very bearish back in April. And, and it was not a fun place to be in because basically, you know, you go from the guy that was was very bullish over here and everyone, you know, loved to hear all the bullish news to, to being over here and, and, and warning people that we were too far extended and that we would not go to, you know, to several hundred thousand dollars in 2021, you sort of become the bad guy because you, you, you no longer see the, the vision of, 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 of sort of a, a model that would support Bitcoin just going to, to 300K, uh, something like this, when there's nothing out of any of the prior data to suggest that that, that would have happened. OK, so with all that in mind, I, I would like to to deal a little bit of hopium before before a lot of people, you know, have already deterministically re, re, resigned themselves to Bitcoin going back down here for a year. I would like to point out at least uh, that in twenty in twenty thirteen, Bitcoin did have a full retracement to the bottom of the fair value logarithmic regression trend line, and for us to get to the bottom of it, it would be going back to twenty seven thousand dollars. So the fair value is thirty three k. The bottom of the of the regression band, which is again, it, it's more or less just arbitrary, but the bottom of it is about 27k. And note that we did have a full retracement in 2013 to the bottom of the regression band before before ultimately trending higher. So, with that in mind, what I think people should do is is to not act deterministically about anything, but if anything, you're going to act deterministic on it. Should be that Bitcoin trends up with time. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and tell you that Bitcoin has to go up right now because it doesn't. It could easily go down further and, and spend some time there before going higher. We, we have to admit that. We understand that. But if you're here for the long haul, then the, the best case scenario is bouncing out of the regression band, the fair value regression band, and putting in new highs sometime in late 2022. Um, or, or sorry, going to a peak in late 2022 or in 2023. This would be the best case scenario. And this is the scenario that we've outlined since 2019 on this channel. The worst case scenario would actually be the best buying opportunity. So if you think about it a different way, the worst case scenario would lead you to the best opportunity you would ever get on Bitcoin. And that would be going back below the fair value, the logarithmic regression band fair value curve. If we come back down here, I understand that a lot of people would be very upset, but you need to plan for all possible scenarios. And what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping that we hold the line over here and we ultimately can bounce out of this mess and go put in new highs. That's what I'm hoping for. But with that said, I'm also planning for the worst. And what that means is having buys set up at lower prices in the event that Bitcoin drops below the log the fair value logarithmic regression curve. OK, so I, I do want to be clear that there is a difference between what one can hope happens and, and also planning for all possible scenarios. We all we can all make predictions on, on what's going to happen. But again, as I've said before, no one knows what's going to happen. So so when you see someone super convinced about they're telling you exactly what's going to happen, just remember, they don't know. No one knows. I've been in this market long enough to know that really no one knows what's going to happen. Furthermore, one of the interesting things is that, um, you know, to, to just sprinkle a little bit more hopium on, on is to is to remind people that, you know, it basically took Bitcoin until this drop here for people to admit that we were in some type of a bear market. And for me, I would argue that we are in in a bear market right now, but that I don't think that bear market is going to last for another year. OK, so I mean, it could. Anything's possible, but I don't think the bear market would last for another year. I think it's more than likely that whatever whatever the bottom is, I, I think we'll find sooner rather than later, probably within the first half of this year, if we haven't already found it. Um, but that if we if we if we do come back down um, or, or sorry, be, because everyone now seems to, to be in agreement that it, that it is, you know, the, that the market is bearish. Normally, normally it takes until the very end of, of the downtrend for people to actually start admitting uh, that the market is bearish. So um, seeing a lot of people admit that today uh, is at least somewhat encouraging because it took until this final drop over here 
in in 2018 for for people to actually admit that it it was that the market was actually bearish. I think a lot of people, even when it was at 6K, um, I'm not gonna. I mean, even myself, right? To be completely honest, even myself, we were all hoping it would do something like this, you know, and and come up and and put in put in new highs sooner rather than later. But in fact, we had to dump below the fair value line, spend a little bit of time there, come back up to the top of it, spend a little bit more time again down here, and then we were off to the races. So best case scenario, we bounce out of here and we put in new all-time highs. Worst case scenario, we come back down here and we probably wouldn't spend very long there. And then we hopefully can get back off to the races. If that happens, while it would be the worst case scenario in terms of your probably immediate portfolio valuation, it would be the, the best buying opportunity on Bitcoin that I think you're ever gonna get. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. We also do have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. And thank you for, for helping this channel get to 700,000 subscribers. It certainly is encouraging to see that there are 700,000 people that find this, this information useful. Remember, with crypto, be patient, just plan for the worst at all times, and be happy when you are pleasantly surprised. What I have found is that if you plan for the worst, the worst does sometimes happen, but more often I'm actually pleasantly surprised because more often Bitcoin trends up with time. Thank you guys for tuning in, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.